Hello everyone, my name is Dimitri and in today's video, we're going to show you exactly how to use scheduling links on the Morgan mobile app and give you a bit of a rundown as to why the Morgan mobile app has an even better widget than Google Calendar. First and foremost, on my phone, you can see that this Morgan widget is very similar to the Google Calendar widget. But if we look at them side by side with the Morgan widget on the right and the Google Calendar widget on the left for iPhone, we'll see that we actually have a bit of an advantage on the Morgan side. On the top right, this Morgan widget does a significantly better job of showcasing you the next few items in your day. Whereas the Google Calendar widget enlarges the date a little bit much for my taste, as all I really need to know is the number and the day of the week. I don't need to see it that large considering I care more about the events on the day than what, what day it is. That's pretty intuitive after you wake up in the morning and just take a glance at your phone. So you'll see we have the next three calendar blocks, which is really nice. And even on the top right here, we have a quick add option where if I press the plus icon, we're able to go really quick in there. And I'm prompted at the very beginning to look at scheduling links. Now, while in the current experience, you can't edit scheduling links, you are able to use them in a very convenient fashion on the go. If anyone's ever had an interaction with you in Slack, you'll know that people oftentimes wanna make a quick meeting or someone will even send you an email requesting that. The nice thing about the Morgan mobile app versus something like Google is that you can go in really quickly and use one of your recurring links. So if I just press copy here and go to my Slack, let's say I had a conversation with my editor and he wants to book a call with me or I wanna book a call with him. I can say, hey Vinny, thanks for asking to book a call, you can schedule one right here. And then very easily I had this paced out and it was very convenient. Rather than me having to go find the link to my booking page somewhere else on my phone, I was able to just go into the Morgan app, quickly access it and then send it out. Another really nice feature about the Morgan mobile app is if I have a duplicate items in this, they actually will merge on this. So if I take this Rise Productive item right here and make a duplicate instance of it by adding another event from 9.15 to 12.30 called Rise Productive and press save. If we go into the widget, we'll notice that it still only shows the one event. Now this is a very nice addition to a world where sometimes we actually have your calendar event showing up twice due to weird invite situations. I have that with all my booking links since my meetings isn't my default one it ends up duplicating and I don't see them both right here. And that's really nice. And now speaking of that, when it comes to virtual rooms, actually, if I go to this Rise Productive item right here, press edit and add a virtual room, first and foremost, I am already connected to Google Meet on here. I have that integration set up just like you could do with Zoom. I can generate a new meeting link and then press save. Now what's really convenient then is if I go into this item itself, I have this nice join meeting option on the top here and I don't have to just click on the link. It's got a nice button that then puts me in a weird inception situation for this video. When you have this many great features on a mobile app and its widget, you just can't be upset. Google Calendar, you got some competition with Morgan. I hope this video was helpful and make sure to stick around for more videos on how to improve your workflow using Morgan.